والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم. Well, uh, Sister Aisha, I want some uh, explanation just to go guide through these six days. Um, Sheikh, what are we supposed to do in regards to this fasting? How important are they? I expect uh, most of the questions to be focused on the issue of fasting the six days of the month of Shawwal. In order to gain the reward which is described in the hadith that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whosoever observes fasting during the month of Ramadan, then succeeds at, at ba'ahu, follows it immediately with fasting six days of the month of Shawwal, he shall receive the reward, he or she shall receive the reward of fasting lifetime for the entire dahr. The word dahr uh, expresses the meaning of lifetime, lifetime of the individual who uh, fast during Ramadan in the six days. Why? The Prophet says that al hasanatu bi ashri amthaliha. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Surah Al-An'am, man jaa bi hasanati falahu ashru amthaliha. There is a minimum reward for a good deed, ten times more. Multiply ten times. So if you fast during Ramadan, we'll assume it is 30 days times ten, that is 300. Then if you fast during the month of Shawwal, six days, that is six times ten, equals 60. So total fasting is 360, that's a whole year. If you keep observing that on annual basis, that means you have been fasting as far as your word throughout your entire life. So Allah gives the reward of fasting on every single day for a person who fasts only one month per year, which is Ramadan, and six days of Shawwal, even though the total fasting is 36 days, or maybe tw uh, uh, 35 days, if the month of Ramadan was only 29 days, as it happened uh, this year. So, now how can a person or can a Muslim observe fasting of the six days of the month of Shawwal to answer also the following question of brother Shakil. Mm. The hadith says, ثُمَّ أَتْبَعَهُ Then succeeds the month of Ramadan was fasting six days. So it recommends to follow the fasting of Ramadan immediately. Mm -hmm. Of course, Eid al-Fitr is only one day. It's called Yawm al-Fitr. Then the following days are regular days. So you may begin fasting the six days of Shawwal as early as the second day of uh, the Eid. Mm -hmm. Because Eid al-Fitr is only one day. In many cultures, uh, they assume that Eid al-Fitr is three days. Because the government gives them a vacation for three days and Eid al-Adha is four days. Which is not true. Eid al-Fitr is only one day. Which allows you to fast the second day right after Eid. Or the first day right after Eid as a matter of fact. So if you can do that, that's fine. And whether to fast them consecutively or spread them over throughout the month of Shawwal, it is optional. But it is best to fast them in a row. Uh, somebody likes to fast the six days, two days a week, Mondays and Thursdays. That's perfectly fine. And the scholars, by the way, said if you do have a habit of fasting on these days, you will receive double the reward. The reward of fasting, your regular voluntary fasting on Mondays and Thursdays, in addition to observing fasting the six days of the month of Shawwal. Mm. Same thing with the fasting the three wide days, which we call them the wide days, three days of every month, 13th, 14th, and 15th of the lunar uh, calendar. So if you happen to fast these three days, uh, and you count them as of the six days of the month of Shawwal, with the intention of having the reward of both, Insha'Allah, you will get the reward of both. As far as, what if somebody owes fasting that certain days of the month of Ramadan, he or she did not get to fast. وَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ فَعِدَّةٌ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرٍ So you should begin by making up the days which you did not get to fast during Ramadan first. Because the hadith says, مَنْ صَامَ رَمَضَانٍ ثم أتبعه بست من شوال فكأنما صام الدهر كله. So the hadith stated that whoever fasts during the month of Ramadan, you have to complete the course. Then follow that with fasting six days. What if somebody, if a woman's monthly period was 
15 or 20 days, it happens. Or somebody was sick for 20 days, more or less. That means he or she have first to make up, then fast six days. But if they get, if they try to make up the number of days which they miss during Ramadan, it would consume most of the month of Shawwal, and they would not get to do the six days. In this condition, we say, go ahead and make the six days first, and you're still allowed to make up later on. And I do have a reference to that. Aisha Umm al-Mu'mineen radiyallahu ta'ala anha wa ardaha stated that they used to postpone making up the days of Ramadan until Sha'ban of the next year. Mm -hmm. So that means they used to postpone it, but they used also to observe fasting during the month of Shawwal, the six days. Most importantly, if you can make up first the few days which you missed during Ramadan, go ahead and do it, then succeed them or follow them with fasting six days from the month of Shawwal. But if the time does not allow, and the month of Shawwal will finish before you get to do both, then begin with fasting the six days of Shawwal, and Allah knows best. I have to do uh, make it brief because there are several and four cons waiting.